This laptop is the biggest, most powerful all AMD laptop we have seen in a while. And it's all thanks to Alienware. We're checking out Alienware's M18 AMD Advantage configuration to see what Team Red has been cooking up. Now we're gonna share what we loved about it, what the heck AMD Advantage is, and what we thought about it all right now, all right here on Robitech. I wanna give a huge shout out to AMD and Alienware for sponsoring this video, which means, hey guys, be careful. We're gonna give you an overview, walk you through this laptop, but if you wanna get our full thoughts on it, wait for the full review that'll be coming on later on. It would be an understatement to say that we have been waiting for this laptop to come out for a while. And thanks to our friends at AMD, we got to check out the first all AMD laptop featuring the Ryzen 7000 series CPU and the all new Radeon RX 7900M GPU. Seriously, I think there is a small patch on the floor in the studio that I wore out just pacing and waiting for this to arrive. They have hyped this combination up so much. All right, before we get into specs, what kind of performance can you expect from this $2,800 laptop? Now let's talk about AMD Advantage. It's like peace of mind. It's like the Nintendo seal of quality, if you remember that far back. But some of you might be wondering, Roby, what is the AMD Advantage? Well, it's is it just marketing speech or, or is there something else more to it? A while ago, AMD put their heads together with other industry leaders to ask the questions, how can we deliver high performance premium experiences for our customers when it comes to laptops and desktops. By matching the right components together, AMD Advantage systems like this Alienware M18 have been carefully curated to get the most out of the components and smart technologies from AMD, essentially empowering users to get the optimal experience from their systems, whether that's gaming, content creation, or catching your favorite soap opera, which I just found out from Brian is like all my children. If you're interested in learning more, we have a whole video on AMD Advantage that you should absolutely check out that both myself and Andy the Lab show you how much work and effort goes into not only from Alienware, but AMD to ensure that you are getting the best system that is essentially checked off, not just from the Alienware team, but AMD as well. Anyway, worth the watch. And it's also very entertaining because it has really cool cars in it. Okay, so now that we have the definition, let's look at what the M18 has under the hood to deliver the AMD Advantage to your fingertips. It all starts with AMD's high performance Ryzen 9 7945HX mobile CPU. This is a 16 core 32 thread CPU that has a max boost clock of 5.4 gigahertz and a combined total of 80 megabytes of L2 and L3 cache on board. To break that down, the Ryzen 9 7945HXS is a CPU that has the same beefy core count. <laughs> See what we brought back? Beefy cores thread count and cache allocation as the desktop Ryzen 9 7950X. Only this is the mobile package, which means it doesn't get as much juice, but just as epic. If I seem really excited about this, it's because I am. You know how much we love those hashtag beefy cores. Now comment below if you were here when we started using the hashtag, because chances are you've already subscribed. But if you aren't, go ahead and slap that subscribe button with that like button and ring that notification bells for notifications each and every time we post videos like this and when we go live on Roby Tech Live. The M18 is the first laptop to feature the RDNA 3 based AMD Radeon RX 7900, which we are super pumped for because honestly, AMD has been telling me, Roby, you are gonna be so excited when you get to check it out. So the RX 7900M has 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, 72 compute units, 64 megabytes of infinity cache, and a game frequency of 1825 megahertz. Again, looking at it from another perspective pace, obviously, taking out how much power it gets. When we look at these numbers on paper, between the compute units, VRAM, teraflops, and game frequency, the 7900M looks like it's positioned snugly between the desktop RX 7800 XT and the RX 7900 GRE, or the Golden Rabbit Edition. And since I don't have one of those, and I, could, I can't really pull a rabbit out of my hat, let alone a golden one, we'll just have to leave this as more of a point of interest than an actually data-driven claim. Now, the RX 7900M is partnered with an 18-inch 480 hertz, you heard that right, 480 hertz, full HD plus display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. Now there's also an option for 165 hertz QHD plus display, but we'll talk about that a bit later. This display hits 100% of the DCI dash P3 color spectrum, which is awesome for content creation, is Dolby Vision certified, which is great for movies, and thanks to AMD's Smart Shift Max, takes advantage of dynamic display shifting. Oh yeah, and it's both G-Sync 
and FreeSync certified. Now for system memory, the Alienware M18 is running 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, running at 4,800 mega transfers. And for storage, our configuration had a one terabyte NVMe drive. Don't worry, we're gonna go and pop off the bottom and see how the upgrades can happen here in a bit. Now the Alienware M18 does have a myriad of other options for other AMD CPUs, storage, and RAM. As I mentioned earlier, the estimated price of our configuration was $27.99, $99 before any sales. And again, prices vary on laptops wildly. So just check out the link down in the description below to see what it costs currently. Now that we've had a peek at what makes this an AMD Advantage laptop, let's see what it can do in our testing. Now we're running our benchmarks at a resolution of 1920 by 1200, so slightly higher than 1080p. And in each test, with the exception of Fortnite and Apex Legends, we had FSR set to quality, which is the appropriate setting for 1080p. I know I get this down in the description below. Remember, 1080p quality, 1440p balance, 4K performance, 8K ultra performance is how it's supposed to work. In Cyberpunk 2077, with ray tracing ultra, we saw an average frame rate of 61.34 frames per second on the Alienware M18, which is, I mean, that's, that's great. I mean, ultra settings, it's gonna run at greater than 60, that's a win. For Forza Horizon 5, at extreme settings, the M18 gave us an average of 123 frames per second. That's some nice zoom, zoom action. In Modern Warfare 2, we saw the M18 average 219 frames per second at ultra presets, which I mean, again, if you're using uh, the variable refresh rate, which this can absolutely do, is gonna be great for your uh, competitive gaming. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the M18 ran an average frame rate of 200 frames per second. Keep in mind, this was running Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the highest settings and without assistance of any super sampling whatsoever. And finally, in Tiny Tina's Wonderland, we got an average of 185.63 frames per second out of the M18. Now remember, when we do multiplayer, we are optimizing for maximum frame rate. So we obviously change things around to get the fastest frames so we can be the most competitive. So Apex Legends, low visual settings, optimizing for competitive. We saw the M18 average 290 frames per second. And finally, in Fortnite, Night, the M18 gave us 342.8 FPS with TSR set to quality. As far as thermal performance goes, idle temps averaged a respectable 51 degrees Celsius. However, under full CPU load, the CPU averaged 100 degrees. But in gaming, we saw a modest average of 78 degrees Celsius. Now I know what you're thinking, Roby, that's hot. <laughs> Here's the deal. When you first saw their desktop counterparts, we were stunned by those numbers too, but that's how these CPUs were designed to basically run at TJ Maxx. I know you try to stay as far away from that as possible, but that's not how AMD CPUs work. They're all about basically getting max power at max temperature, and they're totally fine to run that hot, especially when we're talking about a desktop replacement laptop like this. Now, what about power usage? Now at idle, we saw an average CPU power draw of just under 20 watts, while under full CPU load, we saw an average power draw of 114 watts. And finally, in our gaming benchmarks, we recorded an average CPU power draw of 50 1.56 watts, which honestly, that is sipping power. That is nice and efficient, which is actually really, really cool. Now we were pretty impressed by these numbers when we looked at them with the total picture. Remember, the CPU and GPU are AMD's highest performing, so we assumed they would be power hungry, but you know what? Honestly, at that power level, not too bad at all. As far as noise levels, this laptop can get pretty loud when you get the fans running. I get it. It has to move a lot of air to keep components cool. And again, you do have a lot of control of how loud this thing is, but again, you are nuking performance uh, if you're using the settings inside of the Alienware software. You know, I just, here's the deal. When we recorded average noise levels for the AMD M18, you got around 65 decibel. For an everyday comparison, that's the volume of somewhere between an air conditioner running or a toilet flushing or laughter. Let's talk about build quality because the AMD Advantage M18 is built on the Legend 3.0 frame, which has an aluminum lid and bottom cover along with a die cast internal frame. Overall, it is actually decently well built. It's probably one of my favorite looking Alienware frames overall, but all in all, it is a very attractive laptop and for the quality, like taking it out, people do get the ooze and the odd. For connectivity, the M18 has a lot of it. Are you ready for the list? Because I'm not. I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show it on the screen here for time's sake. And because I used my partridge in a pear tree joke in another video, let's just say that it has a total of six USB ports multiple, and I do mean multiple display connections, and more. This laptop is like the person who knows a guy for just about every situation, but instead of it being ferrying or underwater basket weaving, in this case, it's IO. As for the input, this has the multi-touch glass touchpad with integrated scrolling. 
For your keyboard, RM18 had the Alienware Cherry MX low profile mechanical keyboard switches, and it also had the fancy Alienware FX lighting. It's very shining. And remember guys, you do have other options if you wanna configure it yourself. One other thing we always love to do, and this is a little bit more impromptu, is talk about the upgradability of a laptop because people do care. So we wanna say, is the RAM upgradable and what kind of NVMe storage can you add? So let's pop off the bottom as we have uh, a total of eight screws that you're gonna take around the outside. The other thing too that's really worth noting is that the cover can be a little tricky to get off. If you have an iFixit kit like I did, start from the front and then you'll be able to pop the giant bottom portion off. In terms of upgrading, you do have access to both SODIMs, right? So you can upgrade your RAM pretty straightforward. So if you wanna do 64 gigs or whatever it was, nothing is soldered. So it's just an easy replacement. Like if we wanted to use our Kingston Fury kits, we always do. For NVMe storage, here's your one terabyte that's pre-installed. It looks like you have another one for a 2280. So an easily you could add another four terabytes there. And then they actually have a 2230 here on the left side, which you can get up to two terabytes, which means you could essentially, if you wanted to remove the one terabyte, you could do two four terabytes and a two terabyte, making a total of 10 terabytes of storage, which is upgradable on the laptop, which is always very, very good. Popping in here real quick, one correction. I know I said 10 terabytes, but actually the most you can do is nine terabytes. Huge shout out to Alienware for making sure that we made this video correctly. As we wind things down, the overall user experience using the Alienware M18 was a pretty good one. It definitely felt like you had that AMD advantage. In most of our gaming tests, the M18 performed very well in full HD. Cyberpunk passed the 60 FPS mark, but with some tweaks, it could be even better. We can't wait to see how implementation like fluid motion frames and FSR3 would assist this beast of a laptop. The touchpad and keyboard were great for navigating and gaming. The mechanical keys have a nice feel to them with a very good short travel distance, making them super responsive. But let's just say I wanted to plug in a controller. Would I be left with cable? dangling out of the sides? Nope. Thanks to the USB connection on the back of the system, I'm not left with any danglies. Your laptop doesn't look like an octopus. It actually just is nice and clean out of the back, which is one of the things I really love about this design for Alienware. We do have a few things that are worth mentioning. Let's start with the GPU. If you are going to pick up this laptop, driver support for the 7900M is handled through Alienware. While we have seen GPU drivers provided by the original equipment manufacturers or OEMs like ASUS with the ROG Ally, they tend to lag a little bit behind their desktop variants and might be missing some features. So again, one of the things I always do is make sure that you're checking up on Alienware's website for when they actually drop the Radeon drivers and don't try to use AMD's site to upgrade your driver. If you're patient and you don't care about being on the bleeding edge of graphics, that's not a problem. Alienware just wants to make sure that your stuff is absolutely compatible with their laptop and make sure that the AMD drivers go through their certification first. So please do not upgrade your drivers from AMD's website. Now let's talk about the display. Our configuration of the AMD Advantage Alienware M18 had a full HD plus or 1920 by 1200 display with a refresh rate of 480 Hertz, which sounds really impressive. I mean, this laptop's display is blisteringly fast and who doesn't want their screen to have the ability to cycle as fast if not faster than their system can run. A screen like this is great if you're gonna run games like Valorant, CSGO, or MMOs that can run on a pile of extra french fries that you can find hanging out in like the bottom of a fast food bag. Seriously, you haven't even played Valorant until you've played it on a waffle fry. But like we said in our laptop buyer's guide, you wanna make sure that the performance of your components matches things like the resolution and refresh rate of your screen, as well as the way you'll be using the device. So if it's games like that, great. This is a good fit for you. However, if you have a broader range of titles you play, we recommend checking out the QHD Plus model. When we look at the combination of CPU and GPU, the 1440p Plus space would match those components also very, very well. Though, do remember this does also support 120 hertz and 240 hertz as well, so you can bring that down for games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, etc. That's one of the beautiful things about displays like this. Now, at the end of the day, if you want to experience the AMD Advantage in a modern laptop, the Alienware M18 is the place to do it. With the pairing of AMD's Ryzen 7000 series CPU, the Radeon RX 7900 GPU, and their supporting Spark technologies, this laptop has the potential to show the best of Team Red's offering in the mobile market. Now, we wanna give a huge shout out to AMD and Alienware for sponsoring this video and giving us hands-on with the Alienware M18. Now, these were our impressions of the AMD Advantage M18 from Alienware, and if you wanna see our full review, that
That will be coming out later on in the month. But that doesn't mean we don't want to know what you think about it. So let us know down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, go ahead and slap that subscribe button with that like button and ring that notification bell so that you get a notification each and every time we post a video like this right here on Robitech. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.